welcome to the Occupational Health and Safety Day. The theme, the impacts of climate change on occupational safety and health. World Day of Safety is observed every year on the 20th of April. Every year, Strasper normally puts up a, a, an event to commemorate that day. Now, the impact of climate change on health and safety, you know, brings out dimensions that most of our people don't see. For example, in terms of drought, how does that impact us here? In order to control this, we have to decide, look, are we going to allow our workers to work throughout the day? You understand? Or are we going to allow them to um, reduce the hours of working in the hot sun? Or perhaps what we want to allow them to do during that hot spell, probably we can have them to work during the night time period. I brought you outside to see the bonnet of the vehicle. What is happening there is the amount of dust in the atmosphere coming from the Sahara Desert. So just think of, as you go out into the open, you are inhaling a lot of dust. What we are, we are, see, what we are seeing here in St. Lucia are the effect of climate change. And whilst we may not be too concerned about that, climate change will have and does have a negative impact on health. There's a direct relationship between climate change and the impact on occupational health and safety. There's a direct relationship also between um, climate change and indoor environment. What is happening outside? If there is extra moisture outside, then there will be extra mold and that will impact what is happening in the indoor space as well and so on. So how we actually measure and look at what is happening in terms of climate change and the rising temperature, flooding and moisture and so on and how it impacts the space is quite important. Safety signal is extremely important to us and obviously um, climate change has, has sort of um, thrown a curveball at us, you know, so we now have to go back and sit and analyze and identify ways we can mitigate against climate change because it doesn't seem we could stop it altogether. So our thrust is to be able to look at and identify the, the gaps and to fill them and to ensure that we do them in a manner that would raise safety awareness first of all because we want to make it um, personalized safety allow employees to know that you should put yourself first where safety is concerned and secondly the holistic approach where we do the education where we do the sensitization and we are accompanied by the other controls that we we have already in our system in the engineering department we take health and safety very seriously to the point that no one piece is more important than the other we value all of our personal protective equipment because all of it contributes to our safety and ensuring that we have no incidents or accidents on the job. So I would say that everything here is very important to us at the engineering. 